So welcome to my first video of 2024. It's just for surfaces, so I'll use this for um, my tablet. This is the sauce I wanted. Guys, I'm so exhausted, but I finally done. It is so much better. Hey guys, so, um, hi, welcome to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video, if you're a bestie, hey bestie, and comment a pink heart in the comments, any pink heart, so I know you're a bestie, if not, subscribe, so you become a bestie, and then you can comment, but anyway, so, welcome to my first video of 2024, it's gonna be, it's, not, not it's going to be, but it's a uni movement vlog, and you know how I always, I started my previous uni vlog with like complaining about how i don't like vintage and i don't want to go to school not like i don't want to go to school but just like the vintage itself it's not looking good so this year has been has started off really really great and i'm really taking the power of my tongue very seriously because i will not condone speaking negatively over my life and then wonder why things are dololo so things are not going to be dololo this year in the name of jesus because 2024 is the year of the harvest of favor amen can i get a round of applause <laughs> i'm more excited now because i won't be sharing a room i'll be solo living which is so great um it's just awesome that i have my own space and I feel nice. I feel so good. I feel so great. It's literally an answered prayer. I was praying. I was like, Lord, please leave my final year. May I please leave alone? So I'm so excited to just go back to my apartment, to my place, clean it up, make it feel like it's me. And yeah, I'm just really excited. So today is Friday, the the 9th of February, 2024. Um, yes, Friday. And I'm driving tomorrow on Saturday. And Monday, I have classes, which I'm so excited to attend. Like... The way I start my semester is going to um, solidify how I'm going to carry out myself this entire year. This year is the most important year of my academic career and it's also the most exciting. It's the most, um, it's just the most, the most. It's just great. It's exciting. It's, um, it just has a lot of like, I'm looking forward to this and it has a lot of, I know they're going to be so many surprises, but really, really good surprises, not only academically, but also emotionally, spiritually, financially. I just know that there's a lot of goodness that's going to come out of this year and I'm just excited to grab onto God's promises and trust him and <clears throat> just have faith um i also recently removed the word delulu and being delusional because that's a spirit and i don't not want to be in covenant with the spirit of delusion um yeah i'm gonna replace it with the word that we've, we're supposed to be using a lot as christians which is faith so i have faith i'm not delusional i just have faith okay <laughs> i have faith um i also might sound a little weird because i am a little under the weather um, I've been struggling the past few days, but I feel so much better today. Like my wisdom tooth also gave me a lot of issues. I went to the dentist yesterday. There's a solution. That's great. Um, so yeah, everything is just looking good. Um, and we're driving tomorrow to Ventuk with my family. So that's something I really enjoy and treasure, like spending the last moments with my family before I leave. But also I'm coming back next month because trust and believe I am going to come home. <laughs> I'm coming home. Any chance I get, I am coming home. Guys, don't play with me. Even if I don't have money, my dad will make sure I come home. That That's just a fact. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, what else do I want to say? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, yeah. Just welcome to 2024. I hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves. That's a line I took from Coffee No Milk. Also, the reason why I've been calling you guys besties is because of Coffee No Milk. Like, Coffee No Milk instill that bestie line in me so much that i call everyone besties like yeah it's just nice to call people besties online it's it's so cute it's 
it's it's nice you know <laughs> okay so i just had to adjust myself a little bit um i don't know if you can tell but my skin has been experiencing a lot of breakouts that's because my internship um i was yeah during my internship i was exposed to a lot of acid fumes and um sorry um one of those things inhalers and masks and they were just irritating my skin and i just thank god that i went to the to the sensitive skin route of not applying products that have a lot of ingredients just simple sensitive skin friendly products because i just wanted to restore my skin barrier and it has been looking really good so i don't know i think it looks like great i also did my brows as part of maintenance i love them so much and i think i'm gonna be doing my brows like this from now on i i don't want to tell you what i did because y'all are going to be like won't that damage your skin listen here babes i had no side effects and it worked <laughs> it worked um i think what also contributed to my skin like breaking out so bad i'm gonna put a picture here or a video but what contributed to my skin looking like that was because the first weekend of 2024 we went to dolphin park and it was so crazy, it was so funny. I enjoyed it, I had so much fun. I felt like a little girl, a little princess, like playing in the water, in the waters. It was so nice. And your girl didn't put on sunscreen. For someone who puts on sunscreen every day, I did not put on sunscreen. And my face was so dark. My, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how it's light here and dark here? Yeah? My face was so much darker than, than my arm. My face was terrible. It was so bad. And I think that's what also caused a terrible, terrible, terrible breakout. Because, uh, I don't know. But, like, you know what? My skin is restored. Thank you, Jesus, for restoration. Speaking of Jesus, um, he's just been good. He has been great. My January was perfect. It was amazing. My February is going extremely well. Also, February is my birthday month. And I'm just so excited to turn 23. <laughs> I don't know. When people when people ask me, I think from last year, December, they were asking me how old am I? And I've been saying I'm 23. I don't know what it is about 23. I don't know. I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving it's giving 23. I don't know how to explain. 23 sounds 23 is such a cute number to me. And I just enjoy saying I'm 23. I don't know. I've, 22 sounds like you're a little girl 23 is like you're slowly becoming a woman like a babe <laughs> like i don't know 23 is giving um a lady young woman now 22 21 20 you're still like barely leaving your, your your teens you're still like yeah you're an adult but like you know but 23 is like the beginning of like you're about to be 25 25 you know it's like then you're going to your 30s then 35 you know like 23 is so 23 is like the 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 like the point between adult and like young women. Like I don't know, 23 just feels so 23 feels so feminine. I don't know how to explain, guys. It just feels so feminine and it feels cute. It's it's really giving I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving Yeah, it's giving that. It's giving this. <laughs> Period. I also want to do a birthday vlog. I haven't done a birthday vlog ever since I turned 20, but I also took down that vlog. Um, I took down those vlogs because I had part one and part two. <clears throat> what else? I've been talking for like 10 minutes now. I'm going to be editing a lot of this stuff, <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, this is my hair, by the way. Um, I got this like Fulani hair that like you flip over. I don't know if you can see. And um, it has pink beads at the end because I'm currently in my pink girl era. Um... What else yeah so for now I'm gonna show you what I have going on with my packing and everything and then I'm gonna see you again when I when we travel tomorrow we're traveling tomorrow afternoon so as soon as we arrive in Vintage we're just gonna go straight to the malls and my dad's gonna pay for my groceries I don't know if he knows that but I don't, he will not mind that's all I have to say I hope you guys are good I think I asked you, I think I said that before. But yeah, I hope you guys are chilling, you're good, you're great. And may this year be the year where you take your relationship with God serious, seriously. No compromising anything. Because being with God is like being in a marriage with God. Okay, being in a relationship with God is like being in a covenant with Him. It's like a marriage. You know how um, 
Christ treats the church as his bride, like we're the church, so we're like Christ's bride, and like he's like our groom. When it comes to God, we're like, ugh, but it's God. Not ugh, but it's God, it's the God, Jehovah Jireh. You know, Yeshua HaMashiach, Elohim, Adonai, El Roy, Jehovah Jireh. Period. Shalom. You know, he's, he's, he's all that. And he been that. And you better treat him as he is that. I almost said he's that girl. <laughs> but he's not a girl, sorry. I just have a lot of like, the TikTok sentences are still in my brain. Because I was chronically online. <laughs> I was literally a social media addict. I had, I was struggling with addiction. Y'all. I was an addict to social media. Like, let me tell you, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my glob, if y'all watch Adventure Time, Princess Bubblegum, not Princess Bubblegum, but like Lumping Space Princess, she was always like, oh my glob. So I'm saying, oh my glob, like it was hectic. I was really like chronically online that I knew everything about everyone and about every celebrity. Like I knew the tea. Now I want to have that same energy about Jesus. Like I want to tell you guys Jesus tea. I want to tell you guys biblical biblical tea. I want to tell you guys about our Lord and Savior and how to give your life to Christ, how to fast, how to pray, how to decree and declare by using your trumpet, which is your mouth. Um, this is gonna be awesome. Yo, I talk a lot, but that's fine. Anyway, <laughs> let let me show you guys um what's happening with like the packing. Yeah, this is the state of my packing. That's my school bag that has all my books, stationery. My tote, my new tote bag. Yo, my new tote bag is in there. Um, this suitcase has all my clothes. This bag has shoes. Um, so I've kind of like been living in my suitcase, kind of. This bag has all my cosmetics, and I have a few more that I have to add in here. Um, this okay. So suitcase had this one has clothes. Look at my socks, and this suitcase is gonna have like my bible books like these are my bible books yeah those stuff it's gonna have those books and um it's also gonna have like my tablet my headphones like everything's gonna be in the box laptop laptop bag is gonna sit somewhere there it's still in the cupboard it's also gonna have like these storage container things um what is this spray hold on what is this oh yeah i got the sanitizer thing that i thought it was for hands but it's actually not for hands it's just for surfaces so i'll use this for um my tablet my phone and just places i want to clean but i ordered this little thing i'm gonna put it on the screen this thing that i wanna i got this thing from sheen i got two little other stuff from sheen so i think i might do like a sheen haul in this video that's why this video might come late um because it's gonna because I'm still waiting for machine order. But right now it's an essay. So that's great. It's going to be shipped probably next week. Okay. Anyway. Um, my bonnet. Yeah. So this bag has my cosmetics. And then the suitcase will just have stuff like other cosmetics that might not fit in. That might not have fit in here. Such as my um, foam bath. And what else will go in here? Yeah. Those books. What else? I think that's all. That's all. And then... No, the pillows I'll carry at the back. So yeah, that's this is just the update. So I've, as I said, I've been kind of living out of my suitcase, but that's fine because I haven't really been going anyway. So that's chill. And yeah, that's the update in the packing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when I finalize my packing and when we hit the road. Also, I will be driving. Hold on. Also, I will be driving like how I did last year. I'll be driving often. So I don't know if I'll have time to vlog but i'll make sure i i try my best and vlog as much as i can um and this time i'm going with the bucky and you guys know i don't know if you guys know how i feel but in my early early um vlogs i always drove my dad's bucky and i love bucky's because especially when you're on a hill like the bucky gives you stimulus you know but a small car a small car will be like nah fam you got this on your own like we're not doing that and it's so annoying because i have to like press the accelerator and pull the handbrake and fight for my life. Fight for my life. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be driving the Bucky to, to Vintuk. And um, the Bucky is cute, like, long distance. But what's funny about this Bucky is that the reverse is where gear one is supposed to be. Let's talk about dates. Let's talk about dates. You know, it's not giving, but it's fine. Yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. And please like the video, comment, you know. So yeah, I'll see you 
tomorrow bye hey guys it is the next day it's saturday morning um almost seven let me just say 7 45 um so i am going to make copies of my id and my passport and i'm going to certify them at the police station because it's very close to my house so that's what i'm going to do and then I'm gonna take a shower and get ready already. I'm just gonna dress the way I'm gonna dress when I go to Vintook because I need to go to town to go buy a clothing basket. Um, because the one I had was is terribly broken. It's at the garage, it, it has some things, but I need a proper one that works. Also, I wanted a pink one, and the only ones they have is purple, but it's fine. It doesn't really clash with my aesthetic that much. It's fine. Um, what else do I wanna say? Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. So from here, make copies skincare brush teeth take a shower dress by the time my dad will probably 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 be back and then um he can take me to town because that's only that's the only thing i wanted to buy um i still have not really a lot just have to pack these things they're basically the same way as i left them yesterday um so yeah i'm going to finally pack it because i also have to pack these clothes i didn't want to wash them because i washed them last weekend and i'm just gonna wash them again when i get to Ventook. so i don't know what's happening yeah man i hope you guys like the intro and the outro um i hope you guys like it it's february 10th and we have exactly 15 days until my birthday period <laughs> I'm so excited. 15 days until my birthday. 15 days until my birthday. I'm really looking forward to my birthday. Anyway, so I just got my stuff certified, which is so good. And I already scanned it and everything because I can't keep using stuff from the past. Like, I need to stop. So, um, right now, um, I don't even know if I want to show you guys the state of what's happening here. I moved all the stuff into my bed and... Yeah, everything's on my bed. It's 9 o'clock now. I'm really hungry. So, I don't know if I want to... I'm going to pack as much as I can right now. Even though I did majority of the packing, I'm just going to pack what I can. And then I'm going to make breakfast and eat. And then when my dad's done washing, Saimi... I'm going to miss her. After my dad finishes washing Saimi, because she went for a bath, then we're going to go to town. And I'm going to buy my pink basket. I mean, purple. Even though I wanted pink. But purple is fine, I guess purple is fine i should do like a mini should i should i show y'all should i okay this is how it looks like i'm just covering some stuff i don't want you guys to see but this is how it looks like it's not that bad but you can get better so let me just pack that right now also as i said my skin is really glowing and i love that for me love that love that for me yeah um i don't know where to put my phone
So I took some of my stuff to the car and we're just gonna go grocery shopping right now for my groceries because since my brother's only finishing a little later, it, just, it was just smart to just do the grocery shopping here. And I'm praying that the meat doesn't go bad because we'll be driving for four hours. So I just have to make sure I wrap the meat up in like something so that it doesn't go bad. Um, yeah. It's in my pocket. But yeah. Um, I only have like 53 minutes left of, <laughs> of filming. So I think that'll be more than enough time. Um, yeah, so what's on the agenda is just for me to go and buy my basket, buy groceries, come back, eat lunch with my family while they get ready. Also, I did manage to eat breakfast. exhausted but I'm finally done. done and there's a baby screaming okay anyway hey guys I am at Veneta Sports Field that's what people are screaming it's my brother's athletics Ooh. and I'm eating a pie because I didn't eat breakfast so I bought a pie because I was so hungry I actually bought it earlier before I went to the mall I bought it in Vulman when I went to buy my my basket. Anyway, so um, I have about 50 minutes of formula, which is fine. Anyway, so from here, I did all of my grocery shopping, which I'm so excited for. I'm glad my dad paid, period. Yeah, once I find my brother, once my dad finds my brother, then we're going to go home, eat lunch, and hit the road to Vintook. Also, the thing I'm looking forward to me is um, both of them from Okanja. I just don't know if we'll find the shop again. But yeah, that's the update. I don't know what else to say. It's terrible. And I don't want to open my curtains again. Okay, but this is better. This is my outfit. I changed my pants into shorts. Same puckies. These are actually the same shoes I wore when I went to Vintage last year. Anyway, um, it's time for me to yeah. leave. Um, I also put in a bucket hat. This just has like lunch boxes and a bottle I bought. Everything else, my cutlery and stuff is all in Vintook. But anyway, um, I'm just soaking in my last minutes of being in my room. Rest in the tray. Mimbe is 
so windy. Anyway. Hey guys, I moved into Riz and I'm just cleaning out my cupboard and I have my dishes that I left behind that I'm going to rewash and put them back. I cleaned the kitchen because, yeah, and I just have to mop the floors. Look at the bathroom. It is so much better. The toilet is even white inside. I did the best I could and then time. I just didn't know how to remove. You see how like it's kind of opaque? I tried so hard to scrub but it wasn't getting off so yeah bathroom is done i look like i was sweating i actually was sweating because it was a lot of work and i'm so tired the time is um quarter to nine um my siblings are just watching tv so yeah i'm really just really really happy i realized that i haven't cleaned in a while because i struggle to remove these stains anyway i'm now gonna sort out my cosmetics and bring my stuff into the bathroom i have 40 minutes left of filming and yeah let me just sort out the bathroom so i just finished organizing my table he didn't steal from my stuff and i'm kind of lazy to like show you guys the bathroom it's already full with my stuff so it's okay um yeah so this is my desk and it's so cute i love the pink oh, aesthetic i wish the exact mm, do you have people texting you yeah five messages mm. it's me from the group bra. i wish oh. this was pink but it's fine um i still have to find purpose for this which i will know yeah anyway guys i'm gonna end the video here and thank you so much for watching i am extremely tired currently finished recording <laughs> i'm extremely tired and i hope you enjoyed the move-in vlog I also wanted to film myself cleaning the bathroom, but I was just so exhausted. But I'm actually proud of how much I was able to capture and show you guys. And um, please stick around for more content later on because now I'm starting school and I'm putting YouTube on hold. And yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And hey, bestie. Bye, bestie. I'm so tired, huh?